What's up, man? Hey, I've been cooling, bro. I've been cooling. Got back from that rodeo last night, man. I drove three hours and a half to get back last night. Almost 12 something o'clock. But I ain't get through my video this week. So I'm just gonna chop it up with y'all, let y'all know what's been going on. But anyway, man. I moved to Houston. Look at this bull crap. Got me thinking about Houston. I moved to Dallas. And man, it's crazy, but I like it, man. It's it's cool. It's cool, y'all. It's cool. <laughs> Only thing keeping me going, really liking that is the food. And the food, all right. It's all right. It ain't like that home cooking. But it's all right. <clears throat> but, man, I'm just talking to y'all what it's like to move from the country to the city and things like that. Really, the biggest thing that I don't like is I don't get to shoot my gun when I want to, bro. I don't get to go outside running around with shirtless and all that country stuff. Ain't no four wheeler, no dirt bike, no side by side. Ain't no ponds to go fishing at. Man, it hurt out here, man. But what else could I be doing? You know? Go home a little bit, fish. Got me some deer this year, you know? So it's all good. Hanging in now. Get ready to go to Canada. Passport came in the day, you know. I'm happy, man. I'm excited, man. I just want to play ball. That's it. Man. I just want to play ball. And my wife will come with me for a little bit. And, you know, if everything go good, I might have me a little house next year, you know. I might have me a house next year, you know. Man. I was reading today in uh, First Samuel. And it was talking about how Saul disobeyed the Lord. He was impatient. And he didn't wait on Samuel to come back and do the burnt offering. So he done it himself. But you know how many times we are impatient and we kind of rush things. And it's not our time, y'all. Especially me. That was a hard time for me. Like realizing that it's, it's not my time, it's it's on God time and if I don't wait on God time it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be right. So Saul was stripped from being the king. Just because he didn't wait, he wasn't patient, and he disobeyed the Lord. You know what time of life when Mom to do something, my dad to do something, my wife, boyfriend, girlfriend to do something. Like, I'm just do it my way. Sometimes that ain't the best way to do it, man. And if you just listen and just do exactly what they say, things could turn out different for the night, for that week. Like, you never know, like, how things would change if you just did the way someone asked you to do it instead of trying to do it your way. Even though it might be better. Even though it might be better. That's the most difficult part. Even though it might be better, or you think it might be better, that's when you really slip up and like become a disappointment. But man, we've been at the rodeo this weekend, man. Had a great time. I love rodeos. And I want my kids to love rodeos. And I want my kids to be in rodeos. Even though it costs a lot of money to buy them horses now. You know? But, hey. Whatever my kids want, I'm going to get to them. They're going to be spoiled. Whatever you want to call it. Man. What should I start doing for y'all for the channel? Like, any topics y'all would like, drop them in the comments. Text me. You want to hop on a video with me, we can do that, man. I'm down for almost anything to get this thing popping and going, man. So, listen. If you ain't like to subscribe, go ahead and do that right now, please. We need some more subscribers so I can start getting that money from YouTube, bro. Stop playing. But, right, man. I've been so bored, man. I've been building my wife a, a planter, a planter thing, planter box. So she can start learning how to grow crops and plants and vegetables and all that. Because it's getting expensive to live, man. What could I say? I feel like I'm dying just to live, living to die. Gosh, dog, these prices through the roof. And it's with everything from houses to food to candy. Even a large french fry at McDonald's cost $5. Psst. 
what the world coming to, man. But, like I say, tell me some topics y'all want to chop it up about. Anything, you know. I can make a video about anything. I can prank. I can go on the store, act like a clown. I can do some, uh, some vlogs like me and my wife. You should like video though, but you know I can I can trick in some you know every now and then. I can put in a, uh, put in some every now and then. But I just like talking and hearing people talk and learning about people, traveling places. I'm definitely gonna vlog when I go to Canada because I ain't never been across the Canadian line like that before. I ain't, hey, I ain't never been out the United States, you know. So I'm, I'm excited. Like, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be amazing, man. I hope my family get their passport. My older brothers get their passport. So I want everybody to come. I can invite all of my friends and say, "Come bring your passport. Come on, let's go." I'll do it, you know. But everybody ain't able. I really wish my grandma could come for real though. But we probably gonna take her to California one day, you know. Man. But it's here, and I'm back. And then listen, I'm gonna get y'all a video probably every week. I'm gonna try to get y'all a video for real. Like, I'm gonna get, get y'all a video just because I want this thing to blow up. You know? I really want this thing to blow up for real, man. If I don't have no support, hey, how I blow up if I ain't got no support? Hey, just watch, you can just watch the intro video all I care. If you watch the intro video, give me 10 seconds of your time. I'm good. You know? But. That's it, man. I just want to tell y'all about my week. I ain't hold y'all up, man. Like I say, drop me some uh, things y'all want to talk about in the comments. Text me. Snapchat me. I don't care. Everything available. If you got it, hit me up. Let's chop it up, man. It's Big Smizzy, and we out.